<laughs> but see, see, we do this magic at the beginning because we figure that maybe it's a way to get everybody to get here on time. Time check. What time is it? 1041. Yeah. yeah, that's a little bit late. But that's okay. So, you know, I've been trying to think of what I was going to do today, and I don't know why I waited until the last minute, but I came across something that I thought was pretty interesting. Uh, how many people here have anything, any knowledge about numerology? Okay, well, so it's kind of a pseudo science involving in numbers and futures and that type of thing. What a lot of people don't realize is that numerology is actually also used in waveforms, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in wireless communications, they actually are, it has to do with assigning numbers to waveforms, that type of thing. It's kind of interesting. I thought it was an interesting side note. Well, so today, I'm actually going to see if we can figure out a few people's kismet number, is what I call it. It's kind of a um, kind of an uber lucky number, if you will. So first, I need three big volunteers. She's from uh, and I'm thinking, let's see, who do we have here? Well, me, I'm, this, is my, this is my month. Uh, is, 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 uh, is, is Yasmin here? Yeah, Mark. So, <laughs> Mark Prince? Oh, Mark. Dan, Daniel. We got Daniel? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Brian, would you do me a favor? Would you have one of these seats? Mark? Another? Oh, this means I get to sit down. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see. Um, oh, you have, have your phone on you? Yeah. You? Phone on you. Oh, beautiful. And, uh... Hiding back there is Vincent. Is yeah. it your birthday as well? <laughs> Vincent, have a, have a seat. <laughs> All right, so we've got three set, set up and everything, right? All right, so like I say, this is going to be an experiment. Sometimes experiments go wrong. Just keep that in mind. We'll see. So what I want you guys to do is open up your phones and go to your calculators. And I want you to pay attention to each step. It's fairly simple. But we're going to see if we can come up with your kind of 2024 two digit possibly uh, Gizmet number. So it starts out with any three digit number. And before you put it in, I just want you to tell me any three digit number. What would be a three digit number? 720. 720. Eight, one. Uh, four, five, seven. Four, five, seven. Okay. Now, I am going to try to influence a little bit what your number is going to be because that way we've shared the numbers. Basically, we were creating the number together, and that gives me a better chance that I can divine what numbers, yeah, basically, you guys are going to come up with. Uh, so, I like your, that nice even sound to it, so we're not going to do anything different. Uh, so I want each one of you to take your number, 720, 381, 457, and in any order, if you want to switch it up, 720 could be 207. Yours could be 547, but switch it up if you want, so don't want to leave it as it is, but just enter those three numbers into the calculator. But I can see from there. <laughs> Okay, got that? Now, let's see. I want you to hit the minus sign. You don't need to do anything. I think, uh, and you hit the, I'm thinking plus sign. And uh, you're good. Minus three, not you, plus Two. That gives you another number pretty close to the one that you started with, correct? Now, I want you to multiply this number times any three digit number that's personal. So maybe your uh, first three digits of your social security number, uh, first three digits of your telephone number. Most people have four digits. That might not work. But basically, times another three-digit number. What is your ATM number? 
Exactly. <laughs> you have that? And equal. Now, that should come up with what? A six digit number? Six digits? Five digits. Five digits and six digits. Six. Yeah. Oh, you're special. Wait. Oh, <laughs> no. Five digits. Five digits. All right. Oh, wait, no. It is the five digits. Minus five, two. Yeah. Okay. But you've, you've multiplied two three-digit numbers. Yes. All right, well, we'll hopefully, like I say, it's an experiment. We'll, we'll see. So now what I want you to do is I want you to take a piece of paper and pencil in front of you and just write that number on the piece of paper. The suspense is killing you, isn't it? <laughs> okay. All right, so you got that number written. I want you to compare it. As my grandfather said, measure twice, cut once. Mm -hmm. Compare it to a calculator and just make 100% certain that you wrote down that exact same number. Okay? Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay, all right, now what I want you to do is I want you to take your calculator, zero it out, and add up all the digits of that five or six digit number. Now, once you've done that, can I assume you each have two-digit numbers? Two digits. Okay. All right. All right, this is where I'm going to try to see if I can. Two digits of... Um, hmm. Uh, greater than... Greater than 20? No. No. Close, maybe close to 20. Maybe that's what I'm getting. All right. Not greater than 20. Um, okay, you know what? Think about it. Picture it in your mind like it's on a, on a white. Ah. Oh, I don't know. Oh. All right. This is my guess. I'm going to just lay right there. Don't touch it. <laughs> uh, right uh, if this is true, what's happening here, it's actually kind of a, a real kismet situation. If it will write or not, we'll try. We'll hope. We'll pray. If it's not, it's all their fault. <laughs> Vincent, what's your number? Trusting your intuition, uh, basically, it's, it's the, the most divine number, actually. Uh, one has to do with manifestation, uh, kind of a, a green light from the universe to take action or make a wish, and, and things can possibly come through. Daniel. What's your number? 27. You sure? <laughs> Twenty-seven. Wow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, happy birthday, Vincent, Daniel, Mark. Uh, Twenty-seven, by the way. Uh, that it has to balance and alignment. Kind of, uh, you should reach out to the trusted one to help you. Seven being good fortune, financial gain. So somebody can help you make some money, not me, but, but somebody. All right, give them all a hand. Good job.